Hello, amazing people. Joan here. Matt and I made some cookies last night. He got a whole bunch of uh, baking goods for Christmas. And the first, uh, not last night, the night before, I made him some brownies. And he just loved them. And he just finished them up this morning. And then last night, him and I together made some sugar cookies. And he just had so much fun. I have some pictures for you um, that will be on my blog I'll leave you a link and and uh, he really has fun helping cook and um, of course they were his so you know like for him to eat so he's more <laughs> impressed with it right because food is really important to him but you know just the little things that make a difference for people helping them make the cookies you know um, giving them something that they appreciate, like food for Matt. These are the little things that really help make a day better, appreciating them. Like since Christmas, I think, he's been in a really good mood. He's maybe a little longer than Christmas, but um, every day he's like hugging us and, and it's so much better. Proper medication food, um, his computer, he got his computer back finally, woohoo, so he can go and do that, you know, he's got time for himself, he can go do some challenges, he loves the word search book, so as soon as he gets one, he's working on those, he likes to write still, but right now he's just focusing on, you know, the game, and then doing a word search when he got one for Christmas, it is so important for us to not just think about ourselves, although this is very important, we need to nurture ourselves first. Because if you're running on a low energy vibration, you're going to take it out on everybody, so you wouldn't be helping anybody anyways. But it's also important for us to see the other person and know what they need. So... Um, <clears throat> yesterday morning I was doing my yoga and I went downstairs so I could have some quiet time because mommy don't get a lot of quiet time <laughs> and um, and the uh, Matt came down and wanted to do it with me well there wasn't a lot of room so I asked him just to give me a few minutes and I would be up and then I would help him with whatever and and we could do some exercise and stuff and he he agreed you know there was no frustration no anger no and you can do that you don't have to be um frustrated you don't have to give in and when you do give in you know it's although you're thinking you're being okay with you know you're trying to help the other person at the same time you're taking away from yourself and you need you more than you need to help them and I don't mean that in a selfish way. Yes, we need to help each other. But when you give what you're not able to give, you are taking that vibration and you're um, turning it into something that doesn't need to be. You can have the few minutes to yourself. Or if it's uh, finance, if you cannot find yourself being able to afford it, do not lend it out. Do not, do not give it out. You know, if you're fine, because you're going to restrict yourself. If it's love, even, if you're finding yourself running on empty and everybody wants you, you need to take that time for yourself. It all starts with you. When you figure that out, you won't be so upset when you're talking to your kids or your husband or your wife or whoever it is. It's so important to get to where, to get to that point. Fill you first then go for the overflow and give it to everybody else. But you need time for yourself. And once I had my time to myself, once I did my yoga, went upstairs and I started doing everything else that I wanted to do. And then in the evening, Matt and I had some time and we did some cookies like I told him we would. And the day turned out wonderful. It's all a matter of moments. You only have moments in every moment. So make them worth it for you and your loved ones. Make an amazing day, everybody.